Ooh. We're right on. Okay. What's this? Ooh, I love this cheetah pattern. And there's, of course, this. The hot dog man. Uh, peace, hippie, something. <gasps> oh, it's this one! We have to, right? Yeah. You have to do the Final Fantasy one. I'm recording, right? Yep. Let's do it. Oh, and this is indoor! Ooh, cool. Okay, okay, okay. Here you can have this one, but outdoors you're this. Oh, then you'll have to have this one. Ah, the cactus isn't that bad. Oh my god, I just realized! Is that the cactus from Kingdom Hearts 3? In the toy box level? It is! It is! It's just not in toy version. Okay, but the important thing is we have this one. So let's do it. Huh? Yes? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put on my glasses! <gasps> Chapter 2. Penumbra. <laughs> Sorry, dummy. Uh, yeah, look, glasses. What the fuck is <laughs> happening? I'm a little warm, so it the glasses. Sound like the call was no big deal. It sounds like it was important to you. Sophie's alive. Did I? Did I actually manage to rewind time? Mag, no. Are you okay? It kind of seems like you're on drugs. Huh? Oh. Just happy. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just really happy you're here with me. And your mom. <laughs> so, drugs then. <laughs> Sorry, uh, what were we talking about? Somebody mentioned a phone call? Mm, yes, I was shocked too. I didn't know people still answered their phones. Funny, Mom. <laughs> and yeah, it wasn't a big deal. It was just from the publisher. Publisher? I've been shopping a collection around for a while, and someone made me a deal. Awesome, Sophie. That's phenomenal. Was this your big secret? You didn't tell her? Oh. I thought she'd have been the first. I didn't want to jinx it. Aren't you always telling me not to tempt the universe? <laughs> I'm so proud of my girl. <coughs> Publishing is always such a difficult endeavor. Thanks, Mom. Oh. <gasps> oh, it's happening again. No one going to take our order? It's been like a few minutes. Have you ever had a food service job? Like, ever? Um, let's get them another minute. I don't think they're ignoring us. They're just understaffed. Give her a minute. Amanda will spot us. I really should hire more hands. No need for standards to drop as soon as the students are gone for the winter. A whole place could use a facelift, to be honest. I like it. It's roomy. On, Not yes, roomy, but... You don't have anywhere homely. else to <laughs> I need to ask Sophie about... God, where do I even start? What's what happening? Is Whoa. Oh shit. Dude, your nose. It's fine. Just a nosebleed. Um, back in a sec. Oh, it's Christmas time! Okay, you're not gonna pass out again, right? Ooh, I'm so curious. Oh, you got notes too? Wow, so these are new messages because this is a new this is a new alternate reality, is that the thing? Let me see. Thanks for making a poor Bill and Weary Bartender's night. You're welcome. It was a nice to actually talk to you. <clears throat> I hope you like revenge horse, or you may regret speaking to me. Ha ha ha. Never. Famous last words, Caulfield. 
Okay, go enjoy the meteors and don't let Moses freeze. He will try to stay out all night. Before I forget, yes, I know. This we we did read. Hey Max, just trying out this new number someone gave me. I said good morning. I get it mornings are for suckers you didn't have to say it back. I'm just stoked about our dates. Cool, guess you're busy, so hit me up when you can. Whoa, ooh. Safi, let's see. Yep, this we've done. Um, hey Max, I just got to the North Quad, usual spot, see you in a minute or two. So it's not exactly the warmest of December days. I am K if you're running late. I don't mind it personally, but you know how my mom is about hardiness. If you can't make it, that's fine. Okay, so these are messages that happened when she switched realities, right? That's the point of this game. It's reality shifting. Because Chloe is still dead. Right? Um... Yep, yep, Chloe is still dead. <laughs> My fault. <laughs> Thought you heard something. Moving. Oh! Okay, these are notes. Amanda, snapping turtle bartender, comedian, live music enjoyer, I have a big crush. <laughs> Diamond, Gwen. Hmm. Loretta. Yeah, that's bitch. Lucas, Max. Hey, that's me! <laughs> Moses. Reggie, Safi, Vin, and Yasmin. Okay, we don't care about crosstalk. Um, oh, we got a new one in here. December 6th. This little shit Loretta thinks she's a uh, uh, Geraldo. What college student goes to this length to get a scoop? I still don't know what's up with Gwen, and she probably hates me. But what does she mean one snoop to another? I snoop for good. Gwen was still acting shady as hell. There could be something there. Ooh. Investigate the noise. Is it this? Whoa. Living? What? What does living mean? Hey, a picture! Or Polaroid, I guess. Isn't it? Oh. That way, okay. No, it's in the other reality! Yeah, I did pick that picture up. It's this way. <gasps> when standing inside a shift point, you use Q to shift timelines. Dead. <gasps> oh, the Where's timelines version's dead. Oh, okay. Holy shit. I'm I'm back, aren't I? In dead world. This is so In dead world. <laughs> There's another Amanda. If I can chat with both, then maybe Okay. I I'm sorry, um I was very curious. Moses. Oh, okay. Um Max, thanks for taking a minute to talk you with me in the fab earlier. I needed that. There's something else, but probably best not to say it over text. You go to meet up later. Of course. So that's what those symbols are. Sure, is everything alright? God, I hope so. News. Because why would it be? Then. What? Sophie? Sophie, I think we should talk. Did you mean to text me? <laughs> This is Max, did you butt text me? Oh, sorry, that thing's got a mind of its own. You thinking about Sophie again, huh? How Aren't could we all? mix me up with Sophie? Yeah, that's weird. Maybe I can figure out what's changed. Yes. Hey there, Amanda! Max. You're here. I'm here. Surprise. You good? Sure. Uh, about like you'd expect. <laughs> yeah, everything's fine. At least, as fine as it was the last time I saw you. Yeah. 
So, not fine at all, right? <laughs> yeah. Are you here for... We already talked in her office. She seems to be doing, you know, bad. God knows. I offered her free coffee for as long as she wants it. That's nice. I gotta get back to it. Don't forget I'm here for you, okay? Thanks, Amanda. Yep. I should cross over and talk to the other Amanda. But firstly, I just want to check. Yep. <laughs> it's a present. This affects. No, hmm. Oh! I do. It's as thoughtful as ever. What's this? No, no buts. Only. I know you. If you send me a gift, it means you won't be coming this year either. Oh. Krampus isn't unsettling, it's fun. <laughs> but honestly, I wanted you to finally meet Safi and Max. You'd love them. Oh, That's cute. Right. Next year for sure. And thank you again for the gift, honey. I mean... I wonder who Tony is. I'll be back, babe. Oh, okay, I know now. <laughs> I was just about to ask if... Is he a... Whoa. Lover or Am I hearing stuff from that other world? I didn't see Moses in the snapping turtle though. This makes no sense. Yeah, or oh, I was gonna say a lover or a brother, family member, stepfather, something like that, but uh, he said love you too, babe, so <laughs> he's got a boyfriend, I'm guessing. I hate that they canceled Krampus for one dead student. Jesus Christ. I don't mean it in an insensitive way. Just death rates on college campuses aren't zero. People die all the time. That's true. Do people get shot all the time? I guess not. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted to see if Yasmin wanted to talk. Our guard down. Oh, hi, Miss Caulfield. I'm sorry for your loss. Huh? You were close to Safi, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. I appreciate it. I should cross over and talk to the other Amanda. I know, but I just want to see if Yasmin need anything. Another Yasmin. Oh, gee, Yasmin? She's so strong. I'd be a total mess in her shoes. Let's see. Hi, Yasmin. Oh, Maxine. You're here. I'd invite you to sit down, but... Uh, you need a long time? I understand. Yeah. Just wanted to check. She is having it rough, <laughs> losing her daughter like that. Okay, let's go back. Oh! <laughs> I thought she opened the door! Hey, look! And here there are Christmas decorations. They're... That's not okay, in the other. So I can cross back and forth. That's good to know. Now I just need to work out where or when here is. What I really like with this game here is I have no idea what's gonna happen or what I should do to make stuff happen and stuff, so it's really fun to actually play a game first time. What's all this? Is there a live event happening? You like it? We're getting ready for our annual Krampus celebration. Oh, sweet. Another newbie. Hope you come. Huh. Okay. Look. Wow, these really are the worst lines I've seen. Oh, these are new! I'm a computer. Can I crash at your place tonight? <laughs> Did you just uh, suplex me? Because you took my breath away. Are you made of fluorine? Uh, I iodide and neon because you're fine <laughs> I like that last one you need to be a nerd to understand that hi Amanda wow I thought you got lost in a blizzard dropped your phone down a bottomless pit 
something. Uh, lost? No. You're right. I'm being passive aggressive. <laughs> Sorry. I saw those texts. It's just... You asked me out and then ignored my text for 48 hours. Kind of sucked is all. Oh, so... So I asked you out. No! <laughs> That's how I interpreted it. <laughs> two nights ago, and said you wanted to go on a date. That's so funny. Two nights ago is exactly when I asked Amanda out. So I haven't gone back in time. Oh shit! This Amanda never talked to me about slowing down our relationship because Sophie isn't dead. So are you gonna tell me? What happened? <laughs> Oof. I was working. Shit. I was working. Oh I'm my totally god, that was bad. I train tunnel vision sometimes. I'm so sorry. Ah. The old I'm a serious artist excuse. Hey, up. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel like crap. Hey. Shit happens. I won't bug you about it. Just didn't love it. I should get back to work. Take it easy, eh? So if I didn't rewind, this is some kind of alternate reality. Yep. But I still talked to Amanda two days ago. So far, everything here seems basically the same. Except... She's alive. Snapshots. Woo! I still can't believe Safi is here, alive, having lunch with Yasmin as if everything is normal. As if I didn't see her die two days ago. In case this does all go sideways. It was supposed to be a candid. Come on! <laughs> You'll never catch me alive. Aretha. Let's zoom in a little bit. <laughs> oh, Safia. Come now. Whoa. I really don't like that. Okay. Post. The day I get a candidate of a Safia will be my crowning achievement. <laughs> Funny. I want all of these to go away. It's so annoying. Ew. Look at this. Oh, there. okay. <laughs> I I swear, to do that. One day I'll get a candidate of Safi. Okay, let's talk to her. Honestly, them. Safia, I wish you'd have told me sooner. I was getting around to it. All clear? We don't need to get you a blood transfusion. <laughs> Nothing oh, to worry about. Golden. Probably just the weather, you know. Oh, did the forecast call for massive nosebleeds? <laughs> Duty calls. Send me the bill for the windshield, please, Safia. Windshield? Windshield? <laughs> what? <laughs> Another piece of shit pie. Someone. Hold on, it's easier if I just show you. Another piece of shit pie? What? Huh? <laughs> Jesus. Whoa! Fuck, Sophie. Is that your car? Charming, right? Found it this morning. You don't think it's some sort of a threat? From who? Vegans? <laughs> Stop eating burgers, or this is about to be you. <laughs> this is gonna sound bananas, but I feel like I've met this cow. It's <laughs> mm -hmm. from right over there. Whatever, I gotta meet the tow truck. Wait, hold on. The broken horn. It looks like there was something written on it. Max, you know what I'm doing? <laughs> Read the room, bud. I'm not really in the mood to stare at photos of my fucked up car all day. Yeah, sorry. It's okay, Rosa. She's gone. Tell me my proposal was shitty, Isabel. That would be a bald face lie. Ooh! I challenge you. I challenge anyone on this campus to do 
finds a better pitch. Impossible. Who in this day and age would be against a full day working? Huh? Dr. Yasmin Fayez. The same school president gracing the covers of magazines as the new face of higher ed? Okay, it's not that interesting. What's Hold this? Up. Safi's alive in this world. Her car probably didn't get trashed in the other. Of course! Let's go back! Back to the dead world. Oh, I hope this game doesn't give me <laughs> Christmas mood. Maybe the turtle and Oofa Doofa. That's gonna take some getting used to. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Here, okay. Inspect. She's always too low. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I hmm. just saw a stepladder. Where was that? Yeah, where? Anything here? What's this? <coughs> Sorry. Ooh, that was cool. Oh, they canceled the Christmas party. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, okay, that's what that guy was thinking about. He really wanted to, to go to the Krampus party. Hmm. Huh. Okay, step ladder here. Maybe outside, or so we could look at the door. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's oh, happening? No. I hope Amanda didn't spend all her soup energy on cooking for me. Oh. Outside. Oh, isn't that cold? <laughs> Duck closed for the season. I understand that. You fall down and die. Hmm. Let me just see. Huh. Need to open the door. <laughs> now, where was the stepladder? Oh! Same snapping turtle, same bathroom key, right? Don't look, don't look, don't look. Whew, okay. Let's test it out. Wrong button. Have lunch with your employee, but you can't tell her about all the drugs you used to do legally. Yes, what crazy gender neutral uh -huh. bathrooms. We love to see it. Yeah, don't worry, dude. Relief is here. Where is ah, oh, there it is. Finally, a chance to live out my lifelong dream of being a tall girl. What am I supposed to do with the key? Am I supposed to just put it here? Tim, he's back. Hank, fuck. Huh? You're welcome, dude. Oh, he needed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> and <laughs> over here again. Now inspect. <laughs> Amanda must be really confused about what she's doing. <laughs> oh, is that a signature? Ugh, this is so stylized, I can barely read it. Lucas Colmenero. Lucas Colmenero. Oh, shit. Did Lucas smash Sophie's windshield? He's a dick, but 
I don't know if he's a property damage level dick. Who's Lucas? But why would anyone else bother snapping his name off? Weird. This is weird. I wonder if anyone at the Snapping Turtle saw the whole thing go down. Hmm. Huh. So this is the mystery we're gonna solve? <laughs> Who trashed her car? Ask Living World Amanda about the cow skull. Okay. Oh, I got a message from Diamond. Hi Max, I'm just reaching out to see if you heard from Moses. He's been closed off um, in the past day and uh, or so, and I'm worried about him. Uh, he needs time. Be patient with him, he'll open up eventually. You're probably right, but it's not good to internalize this stuff, you know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Ah, oh, it's so weird. Two different phones, basically. Whee! <laughs> like, it's so much livelier here, in here. I'm curious. Now we're in the living room, so... No, it's still closed off. For this. It's December in Vermont. I told you it can't be inside. Hey, do you have the bathroom key? Oh. Yeah. Could I grab that from you? We're using it. We'll put it back when we're done. You're using it? <laughs> yep. They are definitely up to something. Okay. Like Not that they're going to talk about it with me standing here. <gasps> oh, I, I know, I know, I know. Why? <laughs> that door is weird. Okay, we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna spy on them from the dead realm. Okay. I should be able to hear them. Or not? Okay, um, I thought that was it. Okay, back again. It's way too cold to be out here, but... I'm pretty sure if they brought those dart guns inside, Amanda would kill them. Oh, I hope so. That would be fun. I'm so confused. Why don't they want to talk to me? Hmm. What's that? Aww, this truly fills me with the holiday spirit. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Amanda. Here, um... Oh. Great, of course. There's a snapping turtle, so... Hey, Amanda. <laughs> I have kind of a weird question. Do you ever have non-weird questions? No. Never, ever. I have been cursed by a witch. <laughs> I see. Does true love's first kiss break the spell? <sighs> oh, no, I di didn't think you jumped that far ahead. <laughs> Alright, hit me then. Oh, the <laughs> she got nervous. Have you had any skulls go missing lately? Wow. <laughs> um... <laughs> That's an extremely specific question. And I can't believe the answer is yes. Our only skull, in fact. I'm dying to know why you ask. Because it's 
somehow ended up in Sophie's windshield. Yep. <laughs> uh, wait, what the fuck? Are you serious? Yep. Yeah, I'm trying to unravel the mystery. Jesus. A skull? <laughs> have, have they never heard of a brick? Uh. When did you notice your cow got rustled? Literally just this morning, before I clocked in. It had to be sometime last night. Did huh. you know it had Lucas's name on it? Who? Oh, Colmanero. That makes sense. He's the one who donated it. Seriously? Why a cow skull? I have no idea. I'm like physically incapable of listening to that dude when he talks. <laughs> Did you see him in here last night? Lucas? I don't think so. Why? You think he broke into the turtle to, what, steal back his cow skull? <laughs> nah. I didn't say it was a good theory. Did you see anything suspicious? <laughs> I mean, the Abraxas kids are perpetually suspicious. They took up like six tables last night. Maybe one of them saw something. Hell, maybe one of them stole it. Thanks. I appreciate the info. Anytime, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, Max. Think. What is going on? You didn't. You don't remind time anymore, but you. You're time shifting. <laughs> what does that even mean? It's so weird. Lucas, oh, that's that's a douche. Someone uh, checked the cow skull through Sophie's car window. Could have been Lucas. Moses said Sophie hated Lucas's guts. If there was a uh, bad blood there, maybe Lucas took it out of her car. The missing horn was signed by Lucas. Amanda says Bessie belongs to Lucas and that he donated it to the snapping turtle. Why would he do donate the cow skull? Ooh, Moses. Moses and I. Um, Moses and Sophie have been best friends for years. Inside Joe's Cecilia traditions, the works Moses is used to Sophie being secretive. Apparently, that's a normal. Um, that's as normal for her as it is for me. Moses said that Sophie hated Lucas's guts. I'll keep an eye on him. That night, Moses and I found Sophie's body. That night, he called in nine one one. We were questioned for hours. We've started talking to each other about her. We're going to get through this together. Sophie has a book deal for her poetry, and she's so excited about it, uh, about what it means for her. Sophie and Yasmin seem to be proud of Sophie's book deal. It's good to see them getting along. <laughs> then, someone threw a cow skull through Sophie's windshield. The Abraxas uh, kids uh, might have taken it from the snapping turtle, and they reported to Vin. Vin runs uh, Abraxas. Might have had his goons steal the cow skull. Interesting. Anything new? Yeah, collect the balls. Ah, uh, undergrads. Yes, yes, I. Yes. So, what, what is if it? It's not just a prank. What if this Sophie is in danger too? Yeah. I just got her back. At least I know where to start. Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Yep. Okay, whew, we're done with snapping turtle. Never got to <laughs> get them, but that didn't matter. Administration, fine arts. Okay. Find the skull rustler. Save Sophie. Oh, it's a kid. The Moogle. My best leads are Lucas Colmenero and the Abraxas Society. Vince, the head honcho of Abraxas. I could start with him. Maybe I should do a little digging into Gwen Hunter, too. She was acting pretty odd earlier. <laughs> She's Time really in investigative questions. mode. Whoever fucked with Sophie's car isn't just gonna out themselves. If some hot chips don't get you an A, I don't know what will. <laughs> hey there, Gwen. Vin? Oh, 
on, Diamond. And uh, don't get cute either. You find it, you bring it right back to me. Well, go find it. What the? Undergrads, <laughs> am I right? Can't live with them, can't run a shadowy secret society without them. <laughs> you ever want to <laughs> borrow one, just let me know. No one should be without a lackey, Max. And yet, I've made it this far somehow. <laughs> you lose something? Mostly my patience. Okay. Hey, I... Um, yeah, yeah. Cute banter, barely restrained sexual tension. What? Etc. I'm busy, Max. Another time. Wow. Okay. What the... What does Vin have been looking for? Let's say I find your missing patients. Then I wouldn't be busy anymore, would I? Hmm. Okay. What? What the? What's that? Is that a squirrel? <gasps> oh, it's a cat! <laughs> Note to self, avoid this bush. <laughs> it's just a cat, though. <laughs> The cat doesn't hurt you. <laughs> Let's see. What do we have to do? What do we have to do? Do do do. You're cute to me. <laughs> I can probably find Gwen in her office, and I think Lucas has a habit of working over by the cafe. Okay. Alexa, you cool? You look a mess. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Just waiting on Lucas Colmenero to grade my final. <laughs> okay. Oh, there he is. We turned them in. Max. <sighs> oh my god. He is secretive. Busy, busy. Um. Need something? Actually, I... Catherine. I've been waiting for an hour. No, just put Robbie on. Who? Oh, sure. I'm only the boy's father. Who fucking cares, right? <laughs> How can you say... Whoa. Adds a whole new meaning to nuclear family. If Lucas has it out for Safi, there might be something incriminating in that case. Hmm. Is that an email? Dated December 5th. That's when Safi's car was vandalized. I need to get in that briefcase. <laughs> I'm just saying she... <laughs> She's really, um, what's it called? Snoopy? <laughs> what's over in here? Nothing. Okay. Huh, okay. Ooh, what's that? Oh my god. But who's Dookie? And who would go over to the toilet, get toilet paper, and then go shit in the sink? This was premeditated. It lit a fire in my passion for justice. <laughs> dead set on finding the perpetrator. Ooh. 
That's it? Okay. Okay, let's go here. Going to the Nationals. Your grandfather would have been proud, Robbie. Of course I'm coming. What? No, don't worry about that. Hmm. Huh. Robbie, I got a split. Uh huh. <laughs> I love you too, buddy. Weird. This yeah. Lucas seems to Bet. be on great terms with his family. Hey. Yeah. Bye. Ah, Lucas. Lucas. Max. <laughs> it's been a hard day. How are you feeling? Confused? <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of stuff all tangled together. It's hard to parse. When my dad passed, well, grief is an easy country to get lost in. <laughs> no matter how many times you visit. Yeah. That's a lot of books a lot of my book signed copies for the burlington book expo they invited me to deliver the keynote this year wow Have you seen the standee they put up of me <laughs> that's what that statue is can't say I have. or paper thing huh okay, i might have to reposition it then the standards for the expo really declined over the years <laughs> We've had a lot of mediocre Yikes. visitors. This dude can it's talk. A shame. <laughs> yeah. How am I going to get that key? Years and years, people still love the characters. Oh, crap. I forgot. I, what time is it? <laughs> I have to go give something to Moses um, before his class. Oh, Good she's such a bad liar. Expo. <laughs> he never shuts up. <laughs> Find a way to distract Lucas. Okay. Well, he's pretty self-centered. Maybe this? Huh. I bet Lucas would really hate if something happened to this. Oh. Now, what can I use to do some permanent damage? Ah, oh, I know. I know. I have an idea. Let me just see. By the way, did you get your ticket to the Burlington Book Expo yet? Uh, no. When is it again? Shiloh, it's soon. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Mm, nothing in here. But picture this. What if Alexa Weiss gave a talk? Hmm. It's the book expo. You have to have a book. Okay, let's go into the admin building then. I think there's something in there. I can find it. Whee! <laughs> There's a lot of stuff going on in my head right now. Okay, I'm trying to. I think I'm thinking really much about what, how, how will this end? How will this go? Really? Yeah, it's a snitch. Okay, not here. The library. I'm going up there with or without you. I have to see it with my own eyes. Uh, what? I think okay. That's the fourth bottle I've seen our fearless leader open this. <laughs> Yvonne! I'm going to call you Pauline. You know what's weird? Hmm. I can't stop thinking about her. Okay, okay. Um. Yes, we're in the dead realm. Time Whoa. To head to the fine arts building. Pick a card, any card, or whatever. Yeah. He looks kind of like he's trying to read my mind. Do you think he can? <laughs> Hello, Vin. Fucking shit. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Max. <laughs> it's just you. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Uh -huh. 
What can I do you for? <laughs> what do you mean, it's just me? Well, th there are a few people, for instance, who I might hesitate getting workday slosh in front of. You. Oh. Not one of them. Thanks. I'm flattered. <laughs> are you flirting with an hour? <laughs> How many of those do you have? Ooh, just don't check the recycling. <laughs> This about Safi. Safi, Safi, Safi. Everything is about Safi nowadays. This isn't about Safi, Max. This is about you and me. What do you mean? Right. Come on. Uh, illicit day drinking with your coworkers is sexy. Be sexy. <laughs> Don't be sexy, be sexy. <laughs> I'm not gonna flirt with him, no. I think I'll pass on the sexiness. Yes. <laughs> Looks like this Vin is taking a break. Now, is there anything here? I know what they're doing, my Ooh, what's um, that? Is that what I think it is? My. I think we all feel a bit <laughs> busted sometimes. Aw, poor little guy. What happened to you? Please, don't touch that. It was a gift. I plan on gluing it back together. Okay. Those look like they should be in a file folder somewhere. What's back here? Ooh. Jeez. Wow! Somebody robbed an airport lounge. Yeah, there are a lot. Ooh. This is nice and all, but... There's an actual barista just next door. Hmm. Tarot cards? What do they mean? It's called a three card pull. A three card this pull? This one represents my past. The magician. It means I'm exceptionally talented, though you already knew that about me. <laughs> my present, the nine of wands. Upside down like that, it means I'm exhausted, feeling vulnerable, and, well, guilty as charged. Hmm. And my future, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. What? A.K.A. the fuck around and find out card. I think I'm about to find out. Huh. Voting. Fear of the future. It's the spice of life, Max. In my experience, we tend to cause the exact thing we're trying to avoid. Yeah. Where were you last week? That was interesting, though. Hmm. What's over here? Exit to the North Quad? No, um... Okay, I guess I need to go back to the present then. Or, um, dead? Living? It's living? Um. Whoa! This must belong to someone flashy. And forgetful. And cold. Does that mean it's <laughs> Vin? <laughs> Is that a therapist's business card? I'll bet some folks on the other side could use that. Yeah. Ooh! I really hope that's just coffee. Yeah. Now, what's in here? Anything at all? I, I'm really lost. What? Remove? Ah! Oh. Dignity restored. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> and not even a thank you? Rude. Rude. <laughs> okay, I'm guessing, yep, on that one too. That's headset. Okay. Back to normal. Yeah! Was that all of them, or read? 
I want to be a bust. How does one become a bust? I don't know. I'm so confused of what to do. Hmm. Oh, Snoop! Guess yeah. Van's not back yet. I guess other Van was looking for answers, too. Huh. The cards are different here. Weird. Multiplanner hearing? I wonder what, what that's about. Whoa. Aw, what a cute no. little guy. Huh. This one's not broken. He won a drama award. Shocker. Oh, a Krampus of your very own. Coffee cup? Looks like Finn takes it black. Nothing else? Magazine? Hmm. It's like her eyes follow you wherever you go. I'm so confused. Whoa, whoa! Something up there? Surely another minute and a half isn't going to taint the building with my presence. What? Just leave everything behind, Professor. You won't need any university materials. Yeah, but I do need my car keys if you want me to leave the campus, don't I? Think. What the? You're not to return to Caledon property before the hearing under penalty of law. What? I know how this works. You don't need to read me my rights. Just doing my job, Professor. That'll go over great in Nuremberg. What's happening to Gwen? Crazy. This is fucking crazy. I told Yasmin already that none of it's true. She knows it's fucking bullshit. Wow. This is all I just guess some something kind of crazy screwy is going thing. down here, too. But at least. Yeesh. I wonder what that was about. Yeah, that's so weird. It just happened so suddenly. I... <laughs> so this Gwen just got escorted out by security, while Dead World Gwen is having hushed phone calls about the police and trying to break into locked bookcases. <laughs> okay, it's a little suspicious when you say it that way. Time to snoop like I've never snooped before. Hmm. I'm going to read this. I swear. If I ever have time for pleasure reading again. Ooh. Okay. I had decided I would hitchhike across the country. If I still wanted to die when I got to the Pacific, then I could do it peacefully. Whoa. Hell of an opening line, Gwen. Whoa, wow, okay. That's dark. Damn, talk about a green thumb. Okay, let's examine the desk. Examine. You would never do what, Gwen? What is this about? Hi, Ruti. Hi, R. There's a good way to say this, but the been put me on unpaid leave pending a disciplinary meeting. I'm not supposed to talk about the details, but uh, if you must hear any rumors, please know I would never do this. I'm not stupid or desperate. I don't know how long I'll be gone. Do you want to walk? So can you water my plants? Some of these little guys have been thriving for years now, and I'm not letting Kaelden kill them. I'll owe you a drink, Gwen. That's weird because the same, it's the same thing with Vin. He's also got a disciplinary hearing. Gwen cancelled her weekly meetings with Safi? Why? Ha! Huh. Weird. Final essays. Oh, Reggie got an A minus. I saw him before you saw me. He was standing on top of a couch in the Abraxas house living room, yelling a monologue, and he was a golden crown in his dark hair. Everyone faced him like he was he really was a king, and in that moment I thought, I am so fucked. Reggie, way to go out uh, on a high note. This is your best writing of the semester. You excel at noting small details, and I can easily picture the man you're writing about. 
You're under the world. Uh, you're under the word uh, by fire and the words, though. <laughs> Time in the Washington. English intro to nonfiction. Professor Hunter. I didn't think uh, he would ask me to be his ATA for astronomy uh, 101. I mean, I've never been in astronomy class in my life, but then he said, I asked you because you can do anything, God Diamond. I've never seen you mess up. At first I thought that's not true, but then I thought, wait, if he believes I can do anything, maybe I really can. Diamond, this is a very good m meditation uh, on confidence. You compellingly trace the history of your relationship with your own worth. That said, you still write uh, about yourself with some hesitation. Something I don't hear uh, when you speak in class. Ask yourself uh, why that is and keep writing. Cool. Loretta doesn't seem like the type to be happy with a B. Yeah. Loretta, um, Professor Hunter, we don't know when the first ever adoption happened. That's because humans have been caring for each other's children since the beginning of recorded history. The word adoption comes uh, to us from Latin and means uh, to take by choice. Loretta, this is well researched piece uh, about the social practices of adoption. A good job citing your sor uh, sources, but this isn't a personal essay because there's nothing personal here. I get the sense you didn't have the time or inclination. You needed to make the pe this piece shine. Hmm. Almost a full cup of coffee. Gwen must have just sat down to drink it. Yeah. Ooh, messages. First. Gwen. Gwen. If you're screening your calls, pick up. I just got an email from Bostitch. And the phone is ringing off the hook. What the fuck is happening? I want that too. Babe, pick up the phone. I'm sure it was for Senators. Just come home, okay? We'll figure this out. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it. Everyone in this game is gay. <laughs> Just notice. <laughs> At least they're in the community, in the LGBT plus community. So <laughs> I just realized that, and it's a little funny. I I don't think I met one straight person in this game. <laughs> I'm happy with it, but <laughs> it was such a weird. Um, huh. Doctor Hunter, this is David from Intro to Nonfiction. Um. I saw the notice in the lecture hall that your classes are going to be cancelled for the rest of the semester, and mm. I just wanted to check up and see if you're alright. I mean, I'm sure you're fine, but I don't know. We're all kind of worried. Okay, um, bye. Okay. Third. Dr. Hunter, by now, I'm sure you've checked your mailbox and the contents enclosed therein. Please understand, this is a courtesy from one working woman to another. Can barely I hear it. I'll have to ask you to leave campus until we can get this whole thing sorted out. Good day. Huh. That's a lot. Ooh. What's this picture? His wife. Claudia, I think. I met her at a faculty event last month. Gwen fucking adores her. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go back to here. We're not in here, right? No, okay. Record player. This thing looks older than Caledon. What's that? Sophie was an undergrad. This reading must have been at least, what, four years ago? Oh. <laughs> Gwen is guilty of plant neglect. Although, I can't really blame her, considering the week we've all had. Drink uh, up, buddy. Okay. I watered the plants. What else is here? Calendar. Busy woman. Dinner with Claudia. Stupid motherfucking call with Maria 2P. Do not forget to email Maria. Adoption Club 1P, grades do, semester ends, praise candy thing. In laws arrive for 15P, in laws leave light at 211P. Hm. Let's check this disc too. These emails are from way back. Like before Sophie knew she wanted to be a poet. What? 
Dear Dr. Hunter, thank you again for letting me turn in a memoir piece in verse. I'm really into poetry this semester. I might make it my favorite writing focus. I have a question though. What does the, the note your voice doesn't feel like your own mean? Thanks. Safi. Safi, happy to explain. Your memoir in verse is technically very impressive. Most people sh sound like broken records when they write it. Yeah. Villanelles. But the voice feels less like you and more like you're right. imitating classic poets. Ask yourself, how can you inhabit your own words more comfortably? Cheers, Gwen. I say I'll try my best. Thanks, Safi. Gwen, thanks again for being willing to read this. I had to, I had to write down what it, what I felt, or I'd fucking explode. Do you think there's anything here? Is it weird that I'm already writing about her? The willows are weeping. The fruit is rotting. From the branch, I saw her glowing, and I saw her go out. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. I have no longer anything else. Hey, Safi. No feel weird um, for wanting to write about pain or whatever it is that's fogging the pipes in your mind. The poem is raw and honest, I can tell. My advice is that it is to be more specific and personal with that last line. What does it mean for you to no longer feel anything else? These are really good advice. Wow, Gwen knows what she's doing. I knew Gwen mentored Safi, but I didn't realize she was this involved. Possible homes for Safi's manuscript, Star Shower Books, Dickywood Publishing, Present Leaf Press, currently seeking full manuscripts from early career poets. Reminder, connect Safi's agent to Maria at PLP, Arclight Literary, and Vermilion Press. Okay, so Maria is a... Is a... Uh, a publisher. This is the book I got for Gwen. Wing. Hey R, did you see Sophie at your poetry club? You know, grew up on Friday night or at all over the weekend? If so, did she seem off? Did you mention it in getting any news? Libby answered it in this in this book and returned it to the library. I don't want everyone to um, uh, know I'm asking questions. Thanks, I'll owe you a favor, DGH. DGH. I saw Safi add poetry on Fry and Coffee on Sun. She seemed fine, seemed happy. She didn't mention any news, not that I heard. Not that I heard, at, l at least. Is everything okay? This is all kind of freaking me out. RL415? Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Hmm. This is weird. Ooh, messages. What's the messages here? Dr. Hunter, I appreciate your condolences. You know it, but I'd prefer if you didn't contact me for a few days. There's a few things I need to get in order. Whatever the case, I'll see you at the staffing center. Get the call from the today. Hmm. Hey, babe. Just checking in on my favorite workaholic who won't take a single bereavement day. <laughs> Love you. Take care of yourself, okay? I'll see you tonight. That's cute. No? Hi, Professor Hunter. This is Vin Long from Dr. Fai's office. I'm just calling to confirm it all here. Staff meeting this afternoon in the second floor lounge in the administration building. Ooh. Attendance is unfortunately mandatory. <laughs> Gwen, I hope you didn't. I'm not sure if you should. I don't know. Just, I wouldn't blame yourself. What does that mean? Okay, what? These emails are from. Wait, Does it say here? I knew Gwen. Meant no. Why would Safi have started acting off on Friday? Something must have happened. Between yeah. Gwen and me, I bet we've road tripped most of the country. <laughs> yeah. Caked up Mothman, goaded with the sauce. Oh, okay. God, why didn't I trade travel stories with Gwen before all this? <laughs> Eat ass. It's like a bumper sticker evolved into a bookend. 
Yeah, I am not <laughs> posting that. Okay, good. <laughs> fiction, non-fiction, poetry, plays, a bunch of scenes. That must have been some call with Maria on Friday. Gwen even planned out a time to follow up. Hmm. Find out what Gwen talked to, to Maria about. Um, how? How should I know? All right, oh, okay, okay. Let's go. <laughs> I'm stupid. Search sent to Maria. Uh, enter. Ah. <laughs> uh. Wait. This is Safi's publisher. Gwen yeah. got Safi's book canceled. What? What? Hello, Gwen. Thank you again for taking the time to talk to me last week. I had discussed the concerns you raised with the senior editor over the weekend. And he agrees they are sufficient to merit action. We have begun to process uh, of, uh, of pulling Safia's project, all the dodges we don't talk about. I know this isn't the outcome any of us exactly wanted, but I really appreciate your insights on matter. I hope you work uh, to work uh, you again soon. Maria Sandoval. Hi Maria, I'm just reaching out to follow up on our conversation from Friday. I know I dropped uh, a bit of a bomb on you. But have you had a chance to discuss my concerns with your senior? I appreciate it. any update uh, you're able to provide. Thanks a ton, Dr. Gwen Hunter. These emails are from way back. Like, before... Oh, okay. <laughs> Gwen helped Sophie set this all up in the first place. Why would she... Oh, I'm waiting for the door to open. This all has to add up. Oh my god, I thought that was the door again. Oh, you're scaring me. Where's Gwen? Is the mentor meeting now, or...? Leave Gwen's office. Okay, um... Not this time, um... <laughs> I'm way too paranoid. Leave. Lucas tends to work over by the cafe. Yes, okay. So now it's this. I need to get the key, and to do that, I need to... Ruin this poster of Lucas in the deadline, um, which is this one. Then I need something to ruin it with. And I don't know what. Hmm. Bye. Oh, okay. Okay, it looks like there's something here I can do. Turn up. Do you mind? People are trying to work here. Turn that down. Well, that didn't work. Thank you. Dang. I need a different distraction. Yeah. Ah, oh, here! Here, that's what I was looking for. Dare I channel my inner Chloe? Aw, that's cute. She taught you how to vandalize things. <laughs> vandalize. Now, how exactly do I want to get under Lucas's skin? Hmm. Black eye. K.O. Your winner and still heavyweight champion of the world, Max Caulfield. <laughs> my goodness, who would do a thing like this? Someone should tell Lucas right away. Woo! Give Dead World Lucas the bad news. <laughs> she returns. I take it you've delivered your something to Moses? My something? Right, my something. <laughs> yep, something She's such delivered. a bad liar. So, oh. not to be the bearer of bad news, but somebody really busted up your face on the book expo, Andy. 
Are you serious? I just put that... Come on. <laughs> Some people just have no respect for other people's <laughs> I like you. Come Bye. On, stupid marker. <laughs> That was funny. Okay. Please tell me I'm recording. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry, I'm really scared. Now, let's do it. Oh, oh, I was confused. I was uh, curious. What is this? Snapshot. Yes. Pretty I saw this a time earlier. To even find a phone booth now. This. Oh, I got a message. Diamond outdid herself with this piece, and that's saying something. Oh, that's diamonds? Cool. Amanda. Um, hey, sorry if I was a little hard on you, just don't be a stranger, okay? Who is this? <laughs> sorry, who is this? Naughty brat. Sorry, sorry, I can resist. <laughs> You're right, though. All the better. So, we are we okay? Yeah, we're good. Aw, oh, that's good. Great. <laughs> Ooh, Gwen was involved somehow in cancelling Safi's book deal. Why? So it was Gwen who directly set things in motion to cancel Safi's book deal. She emailed her publisher to make it happen. Which is really confusing. Okay, let's... What the... Um, it's already unlocked! Lucas's famous book. Whoa. So that explains the cow skull and the snapping turtle. But does that mean he's the one who smashed Sophie's windshield? Who knows? Park here. Look. Yeah, not you, Lucas. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously? This guy? <laughs> Lucas was with his agent last night. Not the snapping turtle. Oops, he sorry. couldn't have vandalized Toffee's car. So, who did? Lucas, whether the Burlington Book Expo is small potatoes or not, you're a dinosaur. It has been ages since your first book. You need as much publicity as you can get. Let's meet up tonight to talk strategy. Hall of Fame Tower at 8pm. I've circled around you know, where you can park so you don't get a ticket again. Underpaid author wrangler, Samuel. <laughs> no point in looking through Lucas's stuff now. So this is how the literati spend their free time. Ooh. Lucas was an AA? Good for him. What's this? <laughs> Lucas didn't get a chance to put this up yet. Mm, ooh. That damn just cow curious. skull again. Who threw this fucking thing? Hmm. Parking His tickets? agent tells him where to park, but what does Lucas Colmanero do? park where he wants anyway. <laughs> Did Lucas go to a gun range? Whoa! Does Lucas have a gun? Okay, that's scary. What? Safi? What? What about Safi? A uh, protected um, application for temporary restraining order? Protected person, Lucas uh, Colmanero. And protected person, Snyder Children. And Roberto Colmanero Jr. Restrained person, Safia. Huh. Relationship uh, of the parties, colleagues. On more than one occasion, the restrained person purposely did one or more of the following the protected person or uh, the protected person's minor children. Followed, monitored, or surveilled, threatened, or made threats. Wow. I, the protected person, that is certified that these statements are true. Lucas Colmanero. Is Lucas really trying to file a restraining order against Sophie? Does she know about this? I'd better show her. Yeah. Max, what are you... Lucas, this isn't... <laughs> you can't tell her. What? You can't send Sophie that photo. Let me explain. So explain. 
please. Why? What's happening? Catherine, my ex-wife, she called last night, mad as hell, because Robbie, our son, was repeating back to her things I supposedly told him. But I never... I mean, I could never... The shit Robbie says I told him, it... It, it makes me sick to think about. Huh. Was Robbie lying? Maybe he was making it up? Acting out for attention? No. No. Even if Robbie was the type, this shit, I mean, where would a kid even get ideas like that? Huh. He told her, I said he was the reason for the divorce. Whoa! And somehow that was the least fucked up thing I'm purported to have said. This still doesn't explain the restraining order. I wasn't yeah. even there that night, Max. But someone said those things to my son. And you think that's Safi? You think it was Safi? Listen, Safi once threatened to turn Robbie against me. I know she's capable of it. Um, but Robbie said it was you. But Robbie didn't say it was Safi. He said it was you. I can't explain that part yet. Maybe he didn't say that exactly. I don't know. Catherine won't let me talk to him. And none of this has anything to do with what happened to Safi's car? Something happened to her car? Never mind. Forget it. Look. I know she's your friend. I know you have no reason to believe me over her, but just give me a chance to get this shit in order first without her interfering. I just want to make sure my boy never has to hear anything like that again. This could all be a lie. Yeah, One big but... smear campaign against Safi. But, oh, what if it's not? I don't think so. All oh, that music! <laughs> I do think he's telling the truth there, but it, it's not because Sophie said anything. But it's really confusing, but I'm not gonna send the, the photo. It's clearly that he does love his son in both worlds. Okay, I deleted it. This is between you and her. None of my beeswax. Thank you. If I can't find any evidence to back this up, I don't even know. At least I have time to look. I think I've wrung all I can out of Lucas today. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> okay, what is the next on our checklist, really? Speak to the living world diamond in the north quad. Okay, let's do that and then we'll um, stop this video. I, I don't know anymore. Is it here? North Quad, yes. We're in the living world, so we don't need to shift. Sorry about that. I just really needed to make sure that I don't have that much space in my computer now. <laughs> okay, let's figure this out. I think she's over there, but... What's something happening? What? Ooh, snapshots, yes! Men, what's stopping you from dressing like this? That's cool. His abs are literally sculpted. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see it. I didn't see the stick. Oh, here I can shift. Okay. Art student prank or horrifying creature. The world may never know. Nothing like a fun mystery to get you out of bed, huh, guys? 
<laughs> Beanie? Go Cardinals? Hmm. Oh, this is Diamond. Okay, let's speak to her then. Waiting for someone, Diamond? Mm hmm. Moses. He asked me to help him carry snacks back to the lab, but I guess he forgot. Isn't that kind of menial for a TA? So my job is menial now? I didn't. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Nah, Moses probably just got distracted off polishing his new telescope. If it were anyone but him, I'd ask if that was a euphemism. <laughs> <laughs> Those Abraxas kids are really staring, huh? That one on the left is super into me. I danced Ooh. with him once, once at a club last week. <laughs> I don't see the appeal. <laughs> All the I mean, I was just looking to dance. If I wanted more, he would not be my first choice. <laughs> Besides, they're on the clock for Vin now. Probably trying to catch me in unabraxis like behavior. Hmm. Why you? Why are they focused on you? <laughs> Vin's shook. I'm an right. actual threat to his reign uh -huh. if he can't abide competition. Sounds like him. I think Vin's lost something. It's clearly rattled him. I'll, uh, go ask the goon squad. Good call. What happened there now? Social cues aren't my thing, but that... What was those stairs? They have our man, and he knows too much. Hey, shh. Huh? Oh. <laughs> hey there. Hey, so Diamond told me she doesn't feel comfortable with you two staring at her. You tell me what Ven's looking for, and... I won't tell him you're skeeving on a fellow Abraxas member. <laughs> Good talk. There has to be some way I can hear what they're saying without them catching me. Yeah. But how? Ooh! Safi told me the campus would be gorgeous for the holidays. Glad I actually get to see that here. Can I hide back here? You don't think it's the... Oh yeah! I don't think good cop, bad cop is the dynamic that the author was aiming for. Huh. The author? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Love that guy. Um. Okay. Is this what I'm supposed to know? What? Investigate the Apraxis kids? Listening, okay. What did Vin put these guys up to? Hmm. Perhaps it was a it was a bug last time. Let me just check. Let's shift back and then try Ooh. Paleontology! As in dinosaurs, yep. Not exactly. Come on. Okay. And back. Hmm. Oh, let's see. see what... Oh, it's such a gorgeous game. Holy fucking shit. Yeah. <laughs> Wine blown? Just when you thought you'd seen it all. Jeez, there you are. Thought I was gonna freeze to death. When I woke up, Safi was gone forever. And now, I am in a whole new world of questions. <laughs> Literally. What are these worlds? Timelines? Realities? Where did this new power come from? Is Rewind gone forever? That's what I'm wondering Lucky too. for me, one question clearly takes priority. 
How do I protect the Safi I have left? Uh, should I be worried? The last time I had powers, everything <laughs> and butter to shit. Yeah, <laughs> you caused a huge tornado. Huh. I understand why she's... What, um... Something? There. What? Holy shit. Someone took Vin's phone? And they think it was Diamond. I can use this. Okay, okay. It's the phone. Let's talk to Diamond then. Wee! I love this outdoor fit. Okay. And back again. <laughs> A lot of running to and from, right? I like it. Speak to Diamond. Thank you. So. If you're wondering why those Abraxas kids are eyeballing you, it's because someone stole Vin's phone. Oh, seriously? They think it was me? Yep. <laughs> what the? The clownery! Of course they do! <laughs> of course! <laughs> what the? You okay? <laughs> I take it I was right to assume they're full of shit. Always a safe assumption. <laughs> but if you find out who did it, tell them I owe them a drink. <laughs> I love her. Oh, I love her. Um, what's with you so, and Vin and anyway? Are you and Vin rivals? Enemies? What? To hear him tell it? Both. <laughs> and to hear you tell it? Vin is... One of those yappy little <laughs> purse dogs who swears he's a pit. <laughs> okay. I understand. You don't exactly strike me as the typical, uh, Abraxan. In the Vin Langemold? God, no. But the org itself has potential. Oh? If we could just get him away from it. <laughs> what if you were in charge? Do you ever think about being, I don't know, Abraxas' boss? <laughs> Queen. <laughs> High priest. President. Ooh. I would love to. That's cool. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Diamond. And hey. If you talk to Vin again, yeah. tell him the only thing I'm taking from him is his <gasps> crown. Ooh. Oh. I'm so gonna tell him that. Let's go to Vin. Let's hurry. We. These snow forts, they're so cute. <laughs> ah, it's a festive. I love it. Ooh. That thin eyes, the skating. On thin eyes. And I can't believe I don't even mean that metaphorically. Let's hope they don't drown. Hm. But no shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Halloween. So, bad news, I'm not sure who took your phone. Good news, it wasn't Diamond. Holy shit. You figured all that out with, like, Zero clues. I just knew who to ask. And how. So, about my question. I'm free Tuesday after seven, and I'm partial to a Japanese single malt. What? That's whiskey? <laughs> yes, but damn, do I have so much to teach you. So you're <laughs> <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. Sounds like a profoundly underwhelming evening. Oh. <laughs> until you've tried it. 
So, someone fucked up Sophie's car. They didn't take anything, but they used a cow skull to do it. Jesus. Max, that's crazy. Is she okay? She's yeah. Fine. Who would do something like that, though? You mean, who in Abraxas would? Not exactly. I didn't say that. No, but it's what you meant, isn't it? Anytime some nonsense happens on campus, people trip over themselves accusing Abraxas. Vandalism, destruction of property, that's beneath us, Max. We're performers. If only the audience knew that. The audience wasn't impressed. That's how you know it wasn't us. And besides, how do you even get a cow skull through a windshield? Hold on. I didn't say Ooh. anything about our windshield. Ha! Right? Whoa, whoa! Love to keep so he knew! Falls off, but I've got a phone to find. And if I need to reach you? I'll end up in my office eventually. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did you do? Yeah. How did you know? Speak to the living world Vin and the admin up building. Okay. 